What is the correct way of labeling an egg in Europe? What has to be on the stamp and how big does the writing of the stamp have to be? The man who set these rules recently came to Maastricht to talk about life in the European Commission. Grant Lawrence has just retired after 33 years in the European Commission, 15 of which as a director of the DG Environment. During those 15 years I dealt with most environmental subjects, um, but in my final assignment my, my main tasks were water pollution and chemicals. The trained lawyer spent much of his time in the Commission steering directives or regulations through the European Parliament and the Council of Ministers. He best remembers the directive on water pollution. And that was my baby almost. I, I wrote the first draft of it and then with my team we worked together and we took it through. Over the last years, Lawrence has seen new challenges arise inside the Commission. As fields like energy and environment became more and more mingled, the DG environment had to share power with other directorates. Lawrence has an idea how to prevent a struggle for competence between them. Rather than the traditional way where one Directorate General prepares all the work and then asks the others to comment, the work is prepared jointly by a small task force or committee of all the Directorates General and they each contribute throughout the whole process. The task force, he hopes, will make the work of the different DGs more coherent and give a more unitary picture of the Commission. Lawrence voiced the plan during a Jean Monnet lecture organized by the University of Maastricht. The idea behind this lecture was to give students a view upon the workings of the EU from an inside perspective. There's something different between reading about uh, the, the development of the institutions and hearing it from people who've been directly involved with the institutions. And so we have gone for uh, people who are just retired, who have worked at the institutions but who are just retired because we think they can speak more openly. After an insight into the European Commission, two more Jean Monnet lectures are to follow. And the next time we have the Secretary General of the European Parliament on the 4th of March and then we will have most probably, we, we don't know yet, uh, Michiel van Hulten who is a former MEP and who will look back on the three uh, institutions. Of course the Jean Monnet lectures are very interesting for students of European studies, yet they are open for everybody at Maastricht University.